Now, Rosie and Peter are having a date. Both of them are pathological liars. The waiter asks their ages. Peter says, I'm definitely not over 30. Rosie replies, I'm 28, and Peter is at least 5 years older than me. Peter adds, nah, Rosie is at least 29. Can you figure out their actual ages? Since we know that all statements are false, let's assume the opposite. Peter is definitely over 30. Rosie is not 28, and she's at most 4 years older than Peter. And Rosie is at most 28. Now, from the first statement, we can conclude that Peter is at least 31 years old. The second and third statements tell us that Rosie is younger than 28. We also know that the maximum gap between their ages is 4 years. Therefore, Peter is 31 years old and Rosie is 27. Rosie arrives home from her date and makes herself a cup of hot chocolate. Suddenly, a soccer ball crashes through her window and breaks the mug. Rosie looks out the window just in time. She sees three neighbors running across the backyard, the Smith brothers. Their names are Miles, Mark, and Mike. The next morning, Rosie finds a note in her mailbox. It says this. Which one of the Smith brothers should Rosie question? The note reads, question mark Smith. Therefore, Rosie should blame Mark. Mark apologizes to Rosie. She replies, I'm going to forgive you if you crack my riddle. So listen carefully. I came first on earth, but second in heaven. I also come twice a week, but just once in a year. I stay away for months, but you can find me in February. What am I? Can you help Mark solve this puzzle? The correct answer is the letter E. And for extra credit, will Rosie the liar actually forgive Mark? Someone robbed Rosie's house yesterday. She called the police and they questioned her neighbors. Billy said, eh, yesterday I was visiting my parents' house in another state. I just got back. Phil said, for safety reasons, I had to spend last night in a hotel room. Construction workers urgently repaired my roof during the night. Thankfully, they finished by this morning. Meanwhile, Chuck replied, eh, Sorry, I was playing video games with my friends, so I didn't notice anything suspicious at all. Who is lying? Phil. The roof reconstruction should have been finished, but it still looks like a mess. Ooh. Rosie wants to win a college sports grant, so she trains very hard every day. Take a look at her rivals. Can you predict who's going to win this particular competition? The left runner will be the first to cross the finish line. The right guy's shoelaces came undone. Meanwhile, Rosie, who's running in the middle, put her hand on her stomach because she's struggling with a cramp. That's why her chances of winning are low. The next day, Rosie buys chocolates on the way to the gym. She can't eat them in front of the others because their coach, Tina, asks all runners to stay away from sugar products. So Rosie decides to hide the chocolates in her locker. During the break, she opens her locker and finds out that the chocolates are gone. She questions four teammates. Karen says, I was washing my hair in the shower. Mm. Kelly replies, I was talking to my boyfriend on FaceTime, and he can confirm that. Mm. Zoe discussed her skills with Tina during the break. And Nina enjoyed her sugar-free salad. Who's lying? It's Karen. Her hair is dry. What? Rosie is walking home from her training late at night. Suddenly, she sees a sad young lady sitting at a bus stop. The lady got wet in the rain, and the buses are no longer running. Rosie feels sorry for her and says, My home is nearby. Would you like to have a cup of hot tea? 
The lady agrees. As soon as they enter her home, Rosie turns the light on. That's when she realizes that her guest is very dangerous. How? The lady's legs are covered with wool hair. Take a look at the sky. It's a full moon. She will soon turn into a werewolf. Rosie arrives at work, so we can assume she survived the night. Unfortunately, someone locks her in the underground parking. She wanders around for a while and finds three ways out. But only one path is safe. Hungry tigers are hiding behind the first door. It's impossible to get through. The second door is guided by a virtual voice assistant reprogrammed to hate people. It threatens to destroy anyone who enters this door. And the third passage is filled with toxic gas that makes all mammals pass out immediately. Which door should Rosie choose? The second one. Those threats are words. At the end of the day, it's just a voice assistant. Rosie discovers an infinite supply of honey. But she only has a one 5-gallon jar and one 3-gallon jar. She needs to measure out exactly 4 gallons of honey, taking as few steps as possible. Can you help her out? Yep, this can be done in 6 steps. 1. Fill the 5-gallon jar fully. 2. Now pour the honey from the 5-gallon jar into the 3-gallon jar. After that, you still have 2 gallons of honey in the bigger jar. 3. Now empty the 3-gallon jar. 4. Transfer the 2 gallons of honey into the 3-gallon jar. 5. Fill up the bigger jar again. 6. And finally, transfer one gallon from the five-gallon jar into the smaller jar. This way, we'll end up having four gallons of honey in the bigger jar. Rosie goes to a local restaurant. The manager offers her free dinner. But first, she has to solve his tricky riddle. Rosie agrees. Here's the task. You throw me out when you want to use me. And you take me in when you don't want to use me. Who am I? Rosie nails it right away. Can you solve this mystery too? The correct answer is an anchor. Now, Rosie has 26 blue socks, 13 green socks, 33 pink socks, and 12 red socks. She keeps them in her drawer. How many socks would she have to pull out in the dark to make sure she had a matching pair? The correct answer is 5. She only has 4 colors in her collection, so 5 socks will guarantee that 2 of them will be in the same color. Hey, great job! Rosie has 4 siblings. Alex, Sarah, Nina, and Willow. All five receive some gifts from their relatives on Christmas Day. Rosie opens 25 gifts, while her brother Alex only 24. Meanwhile, Sarah opens 8 gifts, and Nina only 1 gift. Can you predict how many gifts Willow would open? The last name in Rosie's name is Y. It's the 25th letter of the alphabet. Alex's last letter X is in the 24th place. The last letter in the name Sarah is H. It's the 8th letter of the alphabet. And so on. Similar odd logic also works for Willow. The letter W is 23rd. Therefore, she will open 23 gifts. Now. If I were Sarah, I might complain about only getting a third of the gifts her siblings get. But I'm not. Rosie is looking through her granny's pictures. Suddenly, she gets chills because she noticed a time traveler among these party guys. Can you spot this person too? This picture is from the 70s, but this guy on the left has a modern cell phone in his pocket. 
He's definitely not from this era. Rosie wants to get into her boyfriend's apartment building to prepare a surprise for his birthday. Unfortunately, she has forgotten the five-digit code, but she still remembers these five clues. The sum of the fifth number and the third number is 14. The fourth number is one more than the second. The first number is one less than twice the second number. The sum of the second number and the third number equal n. And finally, the sum of all five numbers is 30. Can you help her crack the code? The correct code is 74658. Here's some simple math to explain it. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.